Victory. Namaskar evening headlines studio of Marshmita Goswami. It happened on Kabar Aru, Protome, I to Bazar to Kabar Mazoloi. I call a hair hima hot lacolo briti. Pass la corpora hot lac locolo re high briti cora jose. Arhoi la corpora tinila colo, I call a high. Tinipra, soy lac tocar, I call pass hotan ho. Soy pra, no lac tocar, I call do hotan ho. Nor pra, baro lac tocar, I call baro hotan ho. Baro pra, punhora la colo, I call jose bis hotan ho. Punhora la corpora, I call trist hotan ho. Puramba Junai Suze, I call a Harkima, Hot Lacolo Briti Kora Jose, Pass La Corpa, Hot Lacolo, a high Kora Jose Briti, Arhula Corpa, Tinila Colo, I call a high, Tinipra, Soy Lac Tokar, I call Pass Hotan Ho, Soy Pra, No Lac Tokar, I call Do Hotan Ho, Nor Pra, Baro Lac Tokar, I call Baro Hotan Ho, Baro Pra, Pudhora La Colo, I call Bis Hotan Ho, Pudhora La Corporat, I call Jose, Tris Hotan Ho. Proposed to increase the rebate limit to 7 lakh in the new tax regime. Thus, persons in the new tax regime with income up to 7 lakhs will not have to pay any tax at all. The second proposal relates to middle class individuals. I had introduced in the year 2020 the new personal income tax regime with six income slabs starting from 2.5 lakh. I propose to change the tax structure in this regime by reducing the number of slabs to five and increasing the tax exemption limit to three lakhs. The new tax rates are zero to three lakh, nil. Three to six lakhs, five percent. Six to nine lakhs, ten percent. Nine to twelve lakh, fifteen percent. Twelve to fifteen lakhs, twenty percent and above 15 lakhs, 30 percent. This will provide major relief to all taxpayers in the new regime. An individual, an individual with an annual income of 9 lakhs will be required to pay only 45,000 rupees. This is only 5 percent of his or her income. It is a reduction of 25 percent on what he or she is required to pay now, that is 60,000. So in the place of 60,000, it is now only 45,000. Similarly, an individual with an income of 15 lakh rupees would be required to pay only 1.5 lakh or 10% of his income or her income, a reduction of 20% from the existing liability of 1 lakh 87,500 rupees. My third proposal is for the salaried class and the pensioners, including family pensioners, for whom I propose to extend the benefit of standard deduction to the new tax regime. Each salaried person with an income of 15.5 lakh rupees or more will thus stand to benefit by 52,500 rupees. My fourth announcement in personal income tax is regarding the highest tax rate, which in our country is 42.74%. This is among the highest in the world. I propose to reduce the highest surcharge. I propose to reduce the highest surcharge rate from 37% to 25% in the new tax regime. This would, result, this would result in reduction of the maximum rate. This would result in the reduction of the maximum tax rate to 39%. Lastly, the limit of 3 lakh rupees for tax exemption on leave and cashment on retirement of non-government salaried employees was last fixed in the year 2002 when the highest basic pay in the government was only 30,000 rupees per month. In line with the increase in the government salaries, I am proposing to increase this limit to 25 lakh rupees. Oh. 
we are also making we are also making the new income tax regime as the default tax regime however citizens will continue to have the option to avail the benefit of the old tax regime apart from these i am also making some other changes as given in the annexure as a result of these proposals revenue of about 38000 crore to 37000 crore in direct taxes and rupees 1000 crore in indirect taxes will be foregone while revenue of about 3000 crore will be additionally mobilized thus the total revenue foregone is about 35000 crores annually अरफले बायोगेसर उत्पादन शुल्क ह्रास मोबाइल फोन पार्स और सीमा शुल्क ह्रास टिविर पार्स और सीमा शुल्क ह्रास पासे टिविर पेनेल दु दशमिक पांच शतांश सीमा शुल्क ह्रास परवर्त समय और ह्रास कर रक्षा बांधि लिया केमेरा लेन्सर सीमा शुल्क ह्रास पाघर चिमन सीमा शुल्क ह्रास क्रूड ग्लिशारिणरों कम दाम दाम कम सैकेल खेला सामग्री शुल्क ह्रास बायोगेस उत्पादन शुल्क ह्रास मोबाइल फोन पार्स और सीमा शुल्क ह्रास टि पार्स और सीमा शुल्क ह्रास टिविर पेनेल दु दशमिक पांच शतांश सीमा शुल्क ह्रास परवर्त समय और ह्रास कर लक्ष्य केमेरा लेन्सर सीमा शुल्क ह्रास पाघर चिमन सीमा शुल्क ह्रास क्रूड ग्लिशारिणरों कम दाम दाम कम सैकेल खेला सामग्री आरो हमी बर्तमान देख पाइसु कुन कुन सामग्री दाम बिथि पाबो बा दाम कमिबो बाजे 2023 24 बर्षर जेतु बाजे घोषणा करा होसे जत दाम बाहिबो इलेक्ट्रोनिक वाहनर सिगरेट दाम बिथि पाबो पारे दाम बिथि करा होसे आमदानी करा कपुरर दाम बाहिबो दाम बाहिबो इलेक्ट्रोनिक वाहनर सिगरेटर आरो लगते आमदानी करा कपुरर दाम बिथि पाबो कमांडर भाबे दाम कमिबो क्रूड ग्लिसारिनर साइकेलर और जी पार्ट्स सामग्री तार दाम कम खेलना सामग्री दाम कम दाम प्लेटिनम दाम कम मोबाइल फोन आन सीगरेटर दाम बिधि पा दाम कम टिवे दाम बाढ़ एने दाम समूह निर्धारण करमग्री इतिम्य दाम बृद्धि पा और दाम शुल्क ह्रास हम एक बजेट धार्य कर दिया इतिम्य और आम इतिम्य टेलीशन स्क्रीन तुम देखा जो दाम बृद्धि पा इलेक्ट्रनिक वाहन सीगरेटर दाम बृद्धि पा आमदानी कर दाम बृद्धि पा और दाम कम टिविर इलेक्ट्रनिक्स सामग्री केमेरा लेन्सर दाम कम क्रूड डिजाइनर दाम कम हम और दुहजार तेईस चौबीस वर्ष भर बजेट जी आज घोषणा कर पिछले विभिन्न प्रतिक्रिया पड़े आम पर्याक्रमे आगे प्रतिक्रिया समूह अमृतकाल का ये पहला बजेट विकसित भारत के विराट संकल्प को पूरा करने के लिए एक मजबूत नींव का निर्माण करेगा ये बजेट वंचितों को वरीयता देता है ये बजट आज की एस्पिरेशनल सोसाइटी गांव गरीब किसान मध्यम वर्ग सभी के सपनों को पूरा करेगा मैं वित्त मंत्री निर्मला जी और उनकी टीम को इस ऐतिहासिक बजट के लिए बधाई देता हूं साथियों परंपरागत रूप से अपने हाथ से औजारों और टूल्स से कड़ी मेहनत कर कुछ न कुछ सृजन करने वाले करोड़ों विश्वकर्मा इस देश के निर्माता है लोहार सुनार कुमार सुथार मूर्तिकार कारीगर मिस्त्री 
अनगिनत लोगों की बहुत बड़ी लंबी लिस्ट है इन सभी विश्वकर्माओं की मेहनत और सृजन को देश इस बजट में पहली बार अनेक प्रोत्साहन योजना लेकर के आया है ऐसे लोगों के लिए ट्रेनिंग टेक्नोलॉजी क्रेडिट और मार्केट सपोर्ट की व्यवस्था की गई है पीएम विश्वकर्मा कौशल सम्मान यानी पीएम विकास करोड़ों विश्वकर्माओं के जीवन में बहुत बड़ा बदलाव लाएगा इस बार हम कह सकते हैं कि गवर्नमेंट ने सोचा है आम आदमी के बारे में और जो टैक्स रिबेट दी है जो कह रहे हैं सात लाख का रिबेट है पांच से सात लाख इन शॉर्ट उन्होंने हर आ, हर हिसाब से हर चीज में वह हाउसिंग है वह आम आदमी का पर्सनल टैक्स है उसमें रिडक्शन की है तो उनको क्या होगा उनको राहत मिलेगी उससे अच्छा उससे उसके हिसाब से मेरे को बहुत क्लियर व्यू है कि उनका स्पेंडिंग पावर थोड़ा बढ़ेगा टैक्स इंसिडेंस जो एवरेज मैन मिडिल क्लास सैलरी जो है उनका टैक्स इंसिडेंस कम होगा दैट वन थिंग इज फॉर श्योर कितना फर्क पड़ेगा आपके हिसाब से डिपेंड अपॉन द स्लैब ना स्लैब के हिसाब से वो फर्क पड़ेगा जो उन्होंने कहा है कि हम टैक्स रिटर्न की जो प्रोसेस है उसको हम सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे उसका सरलीकरण करेंगे आसान तरीके से लोग कर पाए उसमें वो कितनी बड़ी राहत है नहीं वो है नहीं, नहीं कहने की बात क्या कि वो कुछ नया अनाउंसमेंट नहीं है वो प्रोसेस दो साल से चल रहा है बट इट इज नाउ गेटिंग सिमलैंड एंड बेटर तो कोई भी अभी नया इनकम टैक्स पोर्टल बनाया देर वर टेक्निकल स्नैक्स बट दैट इज नाउ गेटिंग सिमलैंड वॉट इज सेंग के नाउ इट विल स्टिल बिकम फास्टर ये बजट पेश किया गया है मिडिल क्लास के लिए आपने देखा होगा कोई खास नहीं बस पाँच से सात लाख का जो ऊपर ऊंचाई बढ़ा दी है और ऊपर से अगर टैक्स देखें तो ऐसा लगता है जैसे हम दो हमारे दो भूतों की भाषा में जो लोग कहते हैं हम दो हमारे दो के लिए खास ख्याल रखा गया है आप हाईएस्ट लैब जो है वो बहुत कम कर दिया गया है ये लोग समझ रहे हैं कि क्यों किया गया है और किन लोगों के लिए किया गया है बाकी डीजल पे कुछ नहीं बात हुई है पेट्रोल पे कुछ नहीं बात हुई है अमृत काल महोत्सव और बजेट घोषणा पिछले बर्तमान निर्माणा सीतारमण एक संबंध में संबोधन करो uh 6.4 this year fiscal deficit and the forthcoming year for which the budget is presented now 5.9% fiscal deficit so broadly i leave it at this i suppose when you ask questions we can answer the rest thank you thank you for coming here today <coughs> good afternoon ma'am uh, shishir here from hindu business line ma'am my question is that when there is a announcement for 7 lakh rupees under new tax regime uh, that will no tax to be paid and then uh, you are talking about rejigging the new tax regime does this mean that this is the end of exemptions for various incentives exemptions for investment and savings well i have already addressed this i think we want to make the new tax regime which is without exemptions attractive enough for people to think that this will be the best option for them because it gives them better rates it has, doesn't also also make the compliance a burdensome exercise if rates are so low you're going to benefit net net by paying lesser tax even those exemptions that you would have otherwise gained from would have resulted in probably net amount being the same so we made this a lot more attractive but if there are people who still think that being in the exemption regime which is the old regime benefits them they are welcome to continue where they want but yes the ultimate interest is to make the simpler regime more attractive and that is why we've come up with this ma'am uh, Uh, firstly many congratulations at, at, on that fiscal consolidation because i keep asking you that question but uh, the issue 
uh, today is about people in terms of, you know, there, there is a big gamble in terms of capital expenditure. Uh, when you do that, does it actually trickle down to the people? Does it create jobs? I, I know you've been doing this for the last two years. Are you sure that this will really trigger off job creation one to, uh, you know, money in the hands of the poor people? The second, of course, is about inflation, which again, you like last year, you haven't really uh, touched about it, but you have had the letter from RBI. Uh, your chief economic, uh, economic advisor yesterday says we are in un uncertain times, but uh, you know we hope that it will be uh, under the check of four, to, you know, four to six percent, hopefully the lower band of RBI. What is your, uh, you know, answer to both these points? First of all, on the inflation, I think, yeah, you're right in saying RBI wrote a letter and what. But in the meanwhile, you've seen inflation come down, both the CPI and WPI. Action is being taken by the government. We take uh, inflation-related steps as and when things develop in the ground and in response to it. And that has borne result. So inflation is not something which we are looking the other way while it is changing up and down. We have kept attending to it, and as a result, you find the uh, result. On fiscal consolidation, you asked me the question, and I've already explained that we have attended to it with all earnestness, having respected the glide path we gave ourselves earlier. Jobs. Huh? Yeah, yeah. See, first of all, I find it a bit uh, odd you may want to ask this question like this. Capital expenditure, I would have appreciated if you asked me, you said something in the BE, but you have not really exhausted what you uh, put forth, you have not really used it in the ground, it is unfulfilled in the sense targets have not achieved, I would have been happy to answer if that were to be the case. But you are asking me a question about, in the sense you are implying that we have fully utilized what has been kept for um, capital investment. Therefore, it makes me feel odd that you're asking a question of actually have jobs been created or not. When projects are undertaken and money is utilized and that it is utilized is coming through from the budget statement, how would the projects get completed without manpower, without jobs? Not all projects can be completed, even 1% without human intervention. So obviously jobs are happening in the ground. So. Uh, ma'am, uh, I want to ask you, uh, ma'am here. Uh, ma'am, I want to ask you how, what percentage of taxpayers had moved to the new tax regime in the last uh, assessment year? And is there a number that you expect, 50%, uh, 60%, whatever? And number two, ma'am, there's a specific mention for expenditure towards uh, MSMEs. Now, is there an estimate of how much, uh, what, what was the dues that companies had claimed as expenditure and which has not actually been uh, paid to the MSMEs. Sanjay, you want to answer on? On your uh, second question, that is on the MSMEs, well, we don't have that data. Certainly, we don't have that data. And it's not, I mean, we don't take that data from uh, uh, the taxpayers in their returns, so that data we will not have. But certainly, you know, we are all aware of this huge uh, problem of timely uh, payments not being made to the MSME. So in that direction, you know, this is uh, certainly a positive step. Coming to your first question on the exemption-less regime, let me say that for companies, the 22% tax regime that we got, 61% of our tax now, the corporate tax, more than 60% is actually coming from the exemption-free tax regime. Individuals' data we will not have, but we are very hopeful that this particular scheme for individual taxpayers, the PIT, I think the majority would prefer, I mean, all of you, if you all do your own calculations, I think uh, majority here would uh, be now wanting to shift irrespective of their incomes and the deductions and exemptions that they claim they would be 
finding it more attractive to shift to the new tax regime, majority of them. Uh, Ma'am, very good afternoon. Congratulations on a great budget. It's very clean, simple, nicely done. Uh, Ma'am, one quick question on CAPEX and one more on, uh, on uh, petroleum subsidy. Uh, Ma'am, your CAPEX for RE is lower actually in terms of the spend as of now. Uh, but the t target is, you know, greatly stepped up for FI24. So what gives the confidence that it will be all utilized? That? CAPEX, CAPEX, uh, RE is lower, ma'am. 7.28 versus slightly lower. Uh, and a big one, big jump uh, for FI24. So what gives the confidence? <laughs> Kabur Arose, but we took home on City Bureau.